Did you know that there are more than just five species of hamsters? According to AnimalDiversity.org, there are 18 species in seven genera, but only five of those species are domesticated. So before we dive into all of the different species, let's go over what a hamster exactly is. Hamsters are known as small rodents with compact bodies, short stubby tails, cheek pouches, and for their burrowing habits. They come from various regions and environments, resulting in a wide range of species that are all unique in their own way. So our journey through the species starts off with the Mongolian hamster. This species of hamster is found in China, Mongolia, and Russia, living in habitats of sand dunes, grasslands, or semi-deserts, and weighing 30 to 65 grams and measuring 3.9 to 5 inches in length, this species, unlike the typical hamster, tends to build shallow, short burrows with several entrances. The next species is the Evermans or Kazakh hamster. This species is found in China, Kazakhstan, and Russia, and would inhabit dry grasslands and semi-deserts, and sometimes even found in agricultural fields. Weighing 32 to 68 grams and 4 to 5.3 inches in length. They do not hibernate like other species, but daily activity in winter is definitely lower. They typically would eat seeds, but also eat insects and mollusks on a regular basis, and there are even records of them feeding on lizards, voles, and young ground squirrels. Then we have the Gansu hamster. This species is found in China and is actually an arboreal species that's found in deciduous forests. Weighing 44 to 57 grams and measuring 5 to 5.5 inches in length, this species has been found to be a herbivore feeding on leaves and grasses, unlike your typical domesticated hamster. Then we have the Chinese hamster, one of the five domesticated species. This species in the wild is found in China, Korea, Mongolia, and Russia, which would inhabit arid areas including grasslands and semi-desert habitats, but have been known to adapt and commonly be found in croplands. Weighing 30 to 50 grams in weight and 3 to 5 inches in length, they often will have a burrow that runs 3 feet in length and a depth of 4 to 19.6 inches. Next is the long-tailed dwarf hamster. This species is found in China, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and Russia, and they would inhabit areas of desert to forests to alpine meadows and even found in rocky mountain and semi-desert areas. Weighing 15 to 50 grams and measuring 3 to 5 inches in length, they would occupy shallow burrows typically made under rocks and sometimes occupies burrows constructed by other small animals. Next is the Sokolov dwarf hamster. This species is found in China and Mongolia and typically would live in semi-desert habitats, weighing around 60 grams and measuring 3 to 4.4 inches in length. Then we have the Tibetan dwarf or Ladakh hamster. This species was formerly known under the genus Christulus, but has since been placed under the genus Eurochristus. They can be found in China, India, and Nepal, typically occupying carnivorous and birch forests to desert grasslands, shrubland, swampy meadows, and highland meadows, weighing 22 to 48 grams and 3 to 3.9 inches in length. Then we have the Cam dwarf hamster. They were also formerly known under the genus Christulus, but has now been placed under the genus Eurochristus. They're found in China and occurring in high mountain grasslands, shrubby marshes, and open grasslands. Weighing 20 to 40 grams and 3.4 to 4.4 inches in length, they've also been found to exhibit activity during the day and the night. Moving on to the European hamster, this is one of the largest hamster species and one that you likely are familiar with. They're found in a wide range from Austria, France, Germany, Belgium, Russia, Switzerland, and Ukraine, and many other places. They usually would live in crops, but have spread to habitats like meadows, gardens, and orchards, living close to humans. Weighing 220 to 460 grams and 8 to 13 inches in length, they are big burrowers, so they prefer to live in deep, heavy soil. Unfortunately, this species is critically endangered, and if you're interested in learning more about European hamsters, I have a full video on them here. Then we have the very popular Syrian hamster, one of the few domesticated species. 
In the wild, they'd be found in Syria and Turkey, inhabiting fields and annual crops like wheat, barley, chickpeas, lentils, and vegetables, weighing 120 to 200 grams and being six to eight inches in length. Syrian hamsters can live in burrows that can reach up to nine meters long. Unfortunately, Syrians in the wild have been deemed an endangered species due to habitat loss by increasing human settlements, and they are a big pest to farmers and are trapped and poisoned in February as soon as their burrow entrances are visible, and in the months of May and June, most fields are harvested, burnt, and plowed, leaving it difficult for the hamsters to find cover or sufficient food for winter. Then we have the Turkish or Brant's hamster, found in Armenia, Iran, Russia, Turkey, and would live in dry open grasslands and in agricultural lands. Weighing around 174 grams and being 7 inches in length, their burrows would have several passages and often would have burrows within colonies of common vole and social vole. Unfortunately, they were listed as near threatened in 2008 due to being locally controlled as a pest, and that was the last update, so we don't know how well the species is doing in 2023. Then we have the Romanian hamster. Found in Bulgaria and Romania, living in dry habitats like barren, rocky areas, grasslands, burr clover, dandelion, and cereal fields, and gardens. Weighing 60 to 130 grams and measuring 5.3 to 6 inches in length, the Romanian hamster was also listed as near threatened in 2008. Their main threat is habitat loss due to intensive agriculture. Then there is a cis-Caucasian hamster. Found in Georgia and Russia, and they typically inhabit cereal and herb grasslands, agricultural places, and especially forest lines between fields. Slightly larger than the Syrian hamster, being 6 to 8.6 inches long and weighing 200 to 300 grams. They tend to be most active at dusk and night, but in spring and summer, they're also diurnal. They can store up to 35 pounds of food for winter and hibernates typically from four to six months, depending on the winter temperatures. Then we have the gray dwarf hamster, also known as the Armenian hamster. They are found in a wide range of places like Afghanistan, Bulgaria, China, Greece, India, Iran, Israel, Mongolia, Pakistan, Romania, Russia, Turkey, and Ukraine occurring usually in dry grasslands and semi-deserts, and now also inhabits agricultural land, gardens, and even sometimes in houses, weighing anywhere from 20 to 58 grams and being three to six inches long. Next, we have three of our other domesticated species that belong to the same genus. First is the Campbell's Dwarf Hamster. In the wild, they would be found in China, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and Russia, typically in grasslands, semi-deserts, and desert areas weighing 55 to 65 grams in weight and around five inches in length. Their burrows would have four to six entrances, leading to a nest chamber as deep as three feet, and some may occupy burrows of gerbils instead of making their own. Then we have the winter white dwarf. In the wild, they'd be found in Kazakhstan and Russia, living in dry plains and mountain grasslands, weighing 45 to 55 grams and measuring five inches in length. Their winter nests can be up to three feet below the ground and often uses other rodents' burrows. This species this species also has the ability to change their coat coloring to white based on the length of light during the days. Then is our smallest domesticated species, the Roboroski. In the wild, they'd be found in China, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and Russia, where they would inhabit sandy deserts and grasslands. Weighing 20 to 25 grams and measuring 2 to 3 inches in length, their burrows are dug between sand dunes or at the edge of them and would extend 35 inches deep. And the last hamster species is the great long-tailed hamster, or Korean hamster. Found in China, Korea, North Korea, and Russia, generally found in open dry areas, but also found at field edges, along canals, roads, and rice fields. Weighing a wide range of 92 to 241 grams and measuring 5.7 to 8.6 inches in length, they would construct deep vertical burrows and are primarily nocturnal but also have been seen active during the day. So I hope you've been able to learn something new today and the unique differences and similarities between all of the different hamster species across the globe. Let me know which is your favorite in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!